Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back with ESO and carrying on with the main questline for um, Blackwood. So I think that we have to go in here and speak to Cashew. Um, I believe Mercenary, so, yeah. we have much to discuss. Every stone tossed into a pond causes ripples. The stones you have thrown have caused waves. As much as I wish to assist you, I need to think of Gideon and its safety. What do you mean, Governor? My spy master tells me that Councillor Von Dacia still has eyes in the city. That even now we fear he is aware that we harbor the ambitions. That he gathers his cultists to assault Gideon. The presence of the ambitions puts my people at risk. What do you want me to do? Keep the ambitions safe. But we need to find a better place to hide them. Talk to the ambitions. Perhaps the third one you rescued. Sombrin, was it? Evely said he wasn't locked in a vault when the cult found him. Maybe he knows more than the twins. Okay, I will go and speak to the ambitions. I would never turn away anyone in need. We will protect the ambitions for as long as we can. Yet I fear my legionnaires will not be able to hold off Vandacia's forces should they attack. Go to the Temple of Debella when you are ready to talk to them. Right. As well, I was going around with some of my other characters and I was getting Bastion with them. because, But I find it really stupid that you have to complete the quest with your other characters to get the... Um, uh, what do you call it? To get the companions even though you've unlocked them on one character but the is there something i can do skills the equipment and the level of the companion is the same on all of the, your characters even though you have to do the quest again which i find it really weird like i'm happy for it because it means that i don't have to level the companion up with each character but I find it weird that you have to complete the quest if you already have the companion on one character. You should just be able to like summon them with the others. Go on, Kalia. What know. do you want? Unleash your power. Just like back in the sanctum. Alright. If you say so. Nice. Something's wrong. Pull Oops. back, Kalia. Pull back! I can't! Hold on. Let me help. There. How did you do that? Sit. Practice. I trained to control my powers after I left my vault. Oh, so you were in a vault as well? When I was freed from my vault, it took months for my own power to reach such levels. And then it nearly destroyed me. I'm surprised Callie has gotten to that point so quickly after her release. Uh, why did Callie lose control like that? Our powers grow exponentially once we leave the protection of the vaults. It's what they were constructed for. But Kalia's power has advanced much faster than mine did. It almost consumed her. If not for my mentor, the same would have befallen me. Uh, how did you get out of your vault, and what's that about a mentor? When Duke Varen's forces came through, they set me free. To them, I was just another political prisoner. I wandered without a purpose for a time until my power reached a level similar to what you saw here. That's when my mentor found me. Uh, do you think this mentor can help uh, Kalia and Destron learn to control their powers? I don't see why not. Plus, it will probably be safer if the three of us leave for a while. There's an old shrine northwest of here. Let's meet there. I suggest you tell your wood elf companion where we're going. She seems like the sort to worry. Me? <laughs> uh, good idea, I'll tell Evely, then meet you at the shrine. Everyone's so... Like, Everly, 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 I'm the one doing all of the freaking quests here. Find us in the marsh to the northwest. I'll take Callie and Destron and meet you at the shrine. Don't worry, I'll protect them. The cultists won't surprise me again. Just let your wood elf friend know that we have the twins and we'll keep them safe. Damn, she getting all the credit. She getting all the gold too. <laughs> um, okay, let's uh, I was leave the vault. that there. And we will speak to the twins. So the vault was kind of like suppressing their powers. I'm kind of... I kind of want them all to like come together as one like giant power. But then it's the type of thing where they all come together as one power. They defeat Meryn's Dagon. And they're like 
they cease to exist is that horrible that's probably very horrible of me but that's kind of like what i'm imagining is going to happen that was terrifying i've never felt anything like that ever nothing like that ever occurred during our training in the sanctum what's happening to me what were you trying to do my gift is fire. Summoning flames is as natural as breathing. In the vault, it was always just a spark or a simple flicker. But when I tried to hit the target, I couldn't control it. The fire inside me, it wanted to grow, to spread, to feed. How do you feel now? I'm fine. A, a bit lightheaded, maybe. Whatever Sombrin did, it put the fire out, at least for now. I don't like this. What if next time I summon the power, no one can help me extinguish it? I could hurt Destron. I could burn Gideon to the ground. We won't let that happen. Our power seems to be getting stronger. Harder to control. If not for Sombrin, Kalia's own power might have consumed her. Is this our punishment for abandoning our sanctum? I don't think you're being punished. No, probably not. But we're definitely getting stronger. You saw what I did in the Sanctum. My power is lightning, but after seeing how Kalia lost control, I'm hesitant to use it out here. I will, though, if I'm called upon to defend my sister. Oh, so cute. Okay. Power um. So, oh, I need this. I'm so sorry. You're going to hate me, Bastion. But I need this, and then we can summon him back. <laughs> um. But. What are you doing? Is that your helmet or are you just... What did I miss? Uh... Uh... Your, uh... Your, your horns, sir. They're not, um... They're not gonna fit in the helmet! Uh... So, yeah. His is lightning, hers is fire. I don't know what, um... The other guy's is. It was some sort of red... So, I don't know what that could be. Hey! I'm over here! Hello, Everly. Keshu told me to take a thinking break. It helps to take a break sometimes, you know? From thinking, so you can think better later. Anyway, how are the ambitions doing? Have you figured out a better place to hide them? Uh, someone has an idea, but the twins are losing control of their powers. Well, that sounds bad, obviously. What happened? Um, uh, uh, Kelly almost burned down the temple, but someone knows someone who can help her. Oh! I knew there was a reason we plucked him out of Vandasia's fortress in the Deadlands. I mean, other than preventing a human sacrifice. So who is this helpful person? No idea. Someone's mentor, we're going to meet outside Gideon, we might uh, be gone for a while. Stick close to them. You need to keep the ambition safe and out of Vandasia's clutches. While you're away, I'm going to continue helping Keshu's Blackfin Legion. And I want to be around when my cousins from Balenwood finally arrive. Good luck. Great, so you get to have family reunions and I'm out freaking saving right people. You, but you get all the credit, Evan. Sheesh. I saved Tamriel so many times. Okay. Really, this is your hiding spot? This is your all spot. I ask is that you all keep an open mind. Oh my goodness, you can open portals. <gasps> you can That's summon a Dramora. Oh, sugar, it's me, Sadness. Sombrin, what's going on here? Interesting. I didn't expect to hear from Sombrin again after he left, despite my advice. But to find him in the presence of a powerful mortal and two other ambitions. But where are my manners? Greetings, mortal. I am Zyna. Zyna? Someone says you uh, mentored him, help him control his power. And so I did. I sensed his need and offered my assistance. He learned well, and as he will tell you, I never betrayed him. Is that why he has summoned me? Because those other two ambitions now face the same danger that almost consumed him? Yes, we want to make sure that... Kalia and Destron don't destroy themselves with their own power. Then you must bring them to my sanctuary. Oh, they are far I? more than anything you can imagine. 
I helped Sombrin because I didn't want to see him fall into Mehrun's Dagon's hands, or destroy himself with his own power. I will do the same for the others. Oh, she's so sweet. Where is your sanctuary? I hide in the Deadlands. Great. Yes, <laughs> Dagon's realm. But I have ways to protect us. Before you bring them, they must be attuned to this realm. Find slivers of the Deadlands lodged in your world. Sombrin will show you how to use them to attune the ambitions. Okay. Interesting. As I said, Zyna helped me. And she can help Kalia and Destron. You just have to trust her. And if you can't trust her, trust me. You should have told us your mentor was a Dremor. Forgive me, but in my experience, most of Nern takes a dark view of Dremora. Zyna found me when I was at my worst. If she wanted me dead, she could have killed me years ago or just let me destroy myself. Instead, she helped me. Taught me control. I know a Dremora. She must want something out of you. <laughs> oh, of that I'm certain. Competition in the Deadlands is fierce, especially among the non-aligned Dremora. I know that she seeks allies to call upon when the need arises. Having three ambitions who owe you a favor? Oh, that's like gold to Zyna. That doesn't sound suspicious. Tell me about this attunement process Zyna was talking about. Let me mark your map. Thank you. Zyna told me where to find these slivers of the Deadlands when I needed them. Dagon cultists often enshrine these shards whenever they find them. You'd be surprised how often chunks of oblivion make their way to Nern. And what do we do with these slivers once we find them? I'll describe the process when you return. I need to prepare a portal at a place where the planar boundaries are thin. Take Kalia and Destron and gather the slivers. Then I can attune them to the Deadlands. I also marked where to meet me on your map. Okay, I will take the twins find these slivers of the Deadlands. Our powers interact strangely with the natural forces of the Deadlands. That's why we need to be attuned. Of course, I underwent the process years ago. Now we must help the twins do the same. Keep them safe, then meet me on the road south of Gideon. Can you believe it, Kalia? We're going to be great heroes! What's heroic about being consumed by our own powers? Zyna taught Sombrin to control his powers. She'll do the same for us. If the cultists are our own powers, don't kill us first. Come now, sister. Where's your sense of adventure? Who the heck did that? Um, yeah, so I don't need an achievement because I'm not an ambition and I've already been there. Really? Just like here? A massive. What if Surely Zyna only two wants people? to use us for our power, Destron? I thought she can't that. force us. You heard her. She needs allies, and we're as powerful as they come. I've read the stories. Pacts with Daedra never turn out well. I'll protect you, Kalia. You have my word. Silly Aww. little brother. I'm the one who protects you. You're barely older, only by a moment. Protect each other. I wish I had a brother. <laughs> That's so cute. What do you think you'll make with that? A bastion. Go and have you. Two slivers of the Deadlands. One for each of us. Mission accomplished. You guys don't have horses. I hear it just gets more difficult from here. She's so pessimistic. She's me. She's literally me. I'm like the worst person to think the worst of like every situation. <laughs> Always think of the worst, or expect the worst, and hope that you get the bad, I guess. Let me activate this. Ta-da! Wait, horsey. Where are you? Wait, where do we have to go? We have to go all the way over here. Okay, don't you. you guys can just run behind me. We are here, people. Are you just going to surround it? Oh, no, they were actually just, like, sprinting behind me. <laughs> oh, he's humming. <laughs> Relax, Kalia. What can I do for We're you? We're on an adventure. Destron, be serious. Our own powers could destroy us. That won't happen. I won't let it. It might not be up to you. Kalia, we'll figure this out. We're doing this to avoid all that. Did you gather the slivers? Slivers? They're a massive slivers? ass chunks. Good. I set up the portal at the top of the hill behind me. Alatune, Kalia, and Destron. Then we can make our way to the summit. Uh, what should I be doing while you attune the twins? I need you to deal with a complication for me. Great. A complication? 
creatures were drawn to the hillside by my actions. Could you make sure the path to the top is clear? The last thing we need is for some mundane and random threat to provoke a response from Kalia or Destron. Uh, I'll make sure the way is clear and meet you at the top. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, where we go? Or this way? So you mean like these like bog dogs? These little bog dogs? Cute little bog dogs. <laughs> So ugly. Sheath your weapons. The battle is won. That's it. Bastion. Bastion is like a super. Uh, what's the word? What's the opposite to pessimistic? Optimistic. He's super optimistic. And then I'm just like super pessimistic. So <laughs> he even levels me out, or he. Just me, but, yeah. That's got it. So excited. Bog dog. Bog dog. Little bog doggy. <laughs> Little boggy doggy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so stupid. Are they even following or are they just literally waiting for me? This is really ominous. I'm not sure I trust him or not. I mean, what's his face right. is gonna just sacrifice like him? So. Focus on the slivers of deadlands. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's working. I've Sit. never traveled by portal before. <gasps> me. Quick, step inside. Follow when you're ready, friend. Me first. Me first. Me first. Oh wow, is this all hers? She. This is nice. I greet you, mortal. As with Sombrin, I shall do all that I can to aid the twins. But first, they must survive the Ashen Forest. They must walk the path of the obelisks. Oh dear. Tell me about these trials. What the, uh, what's the path of the obelisks? Before I can teach them to contain their power, they must first come to understand it. The path of the obelisks will help them do so. They must visit the three ancient oracles and learn the truths that each will reveal. Um, what's my role here? Protect the twins from the dangers of the forest. Oh. They cannot unleash their power safely until they have learned to control it. At each obelisk, you will bear witness to the truths they learn. Come to me when all is said and done. Then we shall see. Okay, I will protect the twins and witness what they learn. The power of these two ambitions grows with every passing moment. You must hurry. The path begins to the northwest. Look for the obelisks of origin, empowerment, and inevitability. Each will reveal a hidden truth. Okie dokie, come on then, guys. Come on. Look at the little flame doggy or the flame hound. It's a pretty little flame hound. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is a cool place. I love the sky here. The sky is like super nice. It's like the prettiest part. <laughs> and the lava. Although I hate you, so. Do I have to kill you? Are you coming through here? Yeah. You. That such must a be the first obelisk. Threat. <laughs> Prepare yourself, brother. Well, something's happening. The Ooh. babes are asleep. Oh, I couldn't get the boy to stop bawling. Oh, the I twins. Fed the twins until they were full and exhausted. Your Majesty, welcome. The babes are healthy and strong. Get out of my way. Commanded, my emperor. She bore twins. Thank you. <laughs> As Merun's Dagon commanded, so it has been done. Our parents and the high priest? I don't understand. Oh, Merun's Dagon wanted twins. Blasphemy. The sky is super, super pretty. Were you just floating, my dude? Do I kill them? Or should I just go? Oh, let's kill them. I like these guys. I don't know how to say the name. I'm gonna butcher it, so I'm never gonna try. I suppose this is the obelisk of empowerment. It's Act time for the final ritual, my emperor. Proceed, high priest. Oh, Merun's Dagon. Prince of ambition and destruction, imbue these infants with your power. Oh. Let it ripen 
and grow within these vessels until the appointed time. As so, Dagon wills. Let it be done. They kill them as sacrifices. What the heck? Sacrifice the parents? Okay. Our parents were sacrificed to Mayrun's Dagon? Yeah, so you Why? guys could have powers. She. The ultimate. Why though? Like. To. Do they know that they were like destined for like something bad? Let's go across this bridge. Across the lava, because nothing can hurt us. <laughs> Wait, was it this one? Oh no, sugar me sideways. I went back to the first one. What the heck? <laughs> I went back to the first one. Okay, my bad. It's up, it's up. Let's ignore the little hellhound. Cutie patootie. Cutie patootie. It's this way we gotta go. I mean, the sky is just like worth being here. I hope that we can come back to some sort of deadlines area. I know there's those portals. Um, that portal opened on its own. Oh we'll yeah. Step inside. Let's. Okay. Ah, Confront. This must be the day you oh. learn you are destined to fail. Hello, Van Dixie. The eye of the waking flame emerged victorious. I like that no. suit of armor. Destron. Please run that. Is that us up there? <gasps> Sick! My goodness, this dude! Inevitable. I like him. Daddy Dagon. <laughs> Is it of course there? <laughs> oh, I like! I feel like I need to get a screenshot. Do excuse me for a few minutes. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I can get any higher. I don't think I can. Maybe I go like this. Look at him. He's so cool. Probably gonna be my thumbnail. And then we've got like Bastion behind us. Cool. Okay, sorry, I'm done. Let us speak to him. He's following me. <laughs> How long ago was it? When I crushed you and claimed the ambitions for myself. It must be rather depressing to see that all your efforts were in vain. My victory is inevitable. The other visions showed the twins past. Why is this one different? Visions? You must understand the forces with which you meddle. Given your failures before you died, that doesn't surprise me. You entered the portal at the obelisk of inevitability in the Deadlands. What could be more inevitable than the future? Uh, you're telling me you won? Okay, cool. Series over. <laughs> uh, that now you sit on the ruby throne. Look around and see for yourself. The very fact that you stand before me proves that you didn't stop me. You didn't save the ambitions. You didn't save anyone. I destroyed you. Now this realm belongs to my lord and master, Mehrun's Dagon. Um, okay, this is a lie. When I find you, I'll destroy you. Nothing is inevitable. You uh, haven't won yet. Then I might as well kill you now. Uh, should we go with the might as well kill you now? Or should we go with nothing? We'll go with nothing is inevitable. Look who stands behind me. Look at the throne on which I sit. Meron's Dagon may be the master of all Nern, but he has given me Tamriel as my reward. From high rock to morrow wind, all bow to my will. There is no power in Tamriel equal to mine. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Mercenary, time Escape. to go. Escape. The He's so cool Quickly. though. Oh my goodness, can we have a Mayron's Dagon um, companion? Look at him. He's so big. Imagine him just like following you around everywhere. It's your fault. I don't trust you. Or your freaking Dramora friend. Vandacia. He had us displayed like trophies. We saw our future. We're doomed. Snap out of it. What you saw was just one possible inevitability. 
Nothing is set in stone. Um, okay, let's do him first. I didn't think that was how my story was going to end. I really thought we were going to win. Despite appearances, this isn't over yet, Destron. Isn't it? You saw the Prince of Destruction. How can we hope to fight something like that, let alone his high priest? Maybe it's better if we just let our powers consume us. At least then Vandacia won't be able to claim us. Destroying yourselves isn't the answer. You need to learn to control your powers and stand with me. Now you sound like Kalia and Sombrin. You're right, though. We have power beyond anything Vandacia possesses. That's why he wants us. Once Zyna teaches us to control it, we'll be unstoppable. All right. We're with you. Let's go get this done. Okay. Vandacia is going to win. We saw ourselves. He was drawing power from us, like sipping wine from a chalice. <laughs> that was only a vision, Celia. We haven't been defeated yet. But you saw how Vandacia looked strong, powerful, and Mayrun's Dagon looking down on us. How do we stand against that? Don't let that happen. If it's only one thing, then obviously something on that timeline went wrong. Uh, you learn to control your power and we stand against them together. I don't... Can it really be that simple? Yeah, yes, girl. <laughs> Was that the point of these visions? To show us how we were created and to reveal a dark and possible future? All right, I understand. Just because the night is long doesn't mean the sun won't rise tomorrow. Okay, what, how do you say it? Philosophical? <laughs> The obelisk of inevitability reveals just one possible future. True, it's the most likely outcome, but it isn't the only one. Now that we know where things are heading, we can work to change the course. Okay, so Vandacia is going to win, Mayrun's Dagon is going to claim our world. We're dealing with forces beyond our understanding. It was always going to be a difficult journey, but the obelisk of inevitability only shows what will happen if events continue on their current course. Okay. That future hasn't happened. Yet. So let's leave here and go and get some, like, stew or something. <laughs> uh, so what do we do? The perils of visiting oracles. Are we better off knowing what is to come, or continuing on in blissful ignorance? I believe our choices matter. I choose to resist Mayrun's Dagon, and no vision will sway me from that path. I hope you feel the same. I am. Um, I would like to know uh, what his vision was of the possible outcome for him, or whether his was just like the same and he was just like sucking out his spirit <laughs> or essence, whatever. Mortal who bore witness for the twin ambitions, let us speak. Okay, Bastion likes it when I read. Okay, I can't. <laughs> We can finally greet each other in person, mortal. Before we begin the process that will permit the twins to control their powers, I must ask you a single question. Why does one who abhors Mayrun's Dagon care what happens to his ambitions? The ambitions of people, they should uh, get to decide their own fate. A noble sentiment, but they are more than just people. They are powerful weapons. Dagon's priest imbued them with a portion of the Lord of Destruction's own energy when they were born. It has grown and intensified in the intervening years. But why? Like, I'm, I don't know why. So they sacrificed themselves so their kids could have these immense powers to what? One day defeat him or one day just like serve him? Because they were like obsessed with him. I don't know. Grown and intensified uh, to what end? Imagine that each ambition is like a mortal bank. Instead of gold, the priest deposited a portion of Dagon's energy inside oh. <laughs> That energy grew with them, compounding and doubling year after year like interest on your savings. It also transformed. Transformed into uh, in what way? In every way. What was once just of oblivion became mixed with Nern. Now that energy is a part of both realms. And that is why Mayrun's Dagon wants it back. It will give him the connection to Nern that he so greatly desires. A path to your world. 
So how do you teach the twins to control their power? Their power is like a volcano, building until released as an explosion or a lava flow. One is catastrophic, the other merely destructive. I will delay the eruptions while teaching them to dissipate and maintain control. You may observe, of course. I'll be watching you. Closely. <laughs> we must begin the ritual at once. This way. Wait, can I just What's check on your mind? Bastions? It still seems... It seems like it's not directly in the middle. But it seems like... It doesn't seem like it's moved like at all it says it keeps going up though but it doesn't look like it's moving it's so weird and slightly annoying oh can i read your books so oh what's, what's happening? happening what what's going on Sino, what are you doing helping you fulfill your purpose your ambitions you belong to mayrun's dagon I told you she was freaking bad. I wanted to read the damn books. What happened? No. You. Sina. Damn it. And you, you trusted betrayed us. her. Damn her. Zaina betrayed us and cast us into the spider nest. Eh, uh, what's the spider nest? It's a dungeon beneath her sanctuary. She sends her enemies here to die. We, we aren't her enemies. She saved my life many times. If she'd wanted to hurt me, she could have done so long ago. Why turn against me now? Because she wanted you to find the twins. She mentioned Mayrun's Dagon. I think she plans to give the twins to him. I don't want to believe that. But I heard what she said too. And she completely drained my energy. I can't call upon my power until it recharges. Great. We need to find a way out of here. We need to get to Kalia and Destron before Zyna turns them over. Uh, how will we help the twins if Zyna refuses to show them how to control their power? First things first. I need to restore my power. Uh, let me think. Zyna told me about an old foe she destroyed, tossed them into this place and kept their skull as a trophy. It may hold enough energy to recharge my power immediately. <laughs> you rest. Just tell me where to find the skull. <laughs> the skull is in the treasure chamber. You can get there through the east door. Retrieve it and meet me at the door in the north. When you find me, I'll be in a meditative state. Present the skull and I'll do the rest. Great, 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 great. Bastion, are you ready to save me? Although I think he dies a lot more than me. Are you okay? Aww, are you having a bad time? I'd have a bad time too. At least they give you a bucket to poop in. What do you mean? It's got grades, you could just poop on the floor. <laughs> Luxury. You don't have to sit in your own filth. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, spider's nest. I'm just gonna make my way through here, ignoring everything. Because I don't like it. Oh. Hat, 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 hat tamale, hat tamale. Careful, Bastion. Sheesh. Oh, that's hurts my eyes. Is this made out of chain mail? Is the, I think this is made out of like chains. So uncomfortable. Oh, you killed everybody for me? Thank you. Um. Oh, I have to go this way. Let's just go this way. I feel like I'm purposefully avoiding everything. But I mean, it would be good because it would give back to some XP. Hot tamale, hot tamale, hot tamale. Hot tacos. Hot chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggy nuggies. Okay. They made their choices. So be it. <laughs> they made their choices. So be it. Okay. Oh, wait. We don't have to go back. Oh, maze. What? 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 Can I sneak? You sneak? Do you think I could sneak past them? <gasps> wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Bastion doesn't like uh, killing people. He's like, oh, I, I will kill people if I have to. Where are you, meditative state boy? Oh, great. She captured him. Cool. 
Oh, no, that's not him. Where did he go? Did he go... He, why did he I can leave? Feel the residual energy. Oh. Hold the skull toward me, please. Yeah, oh, pretty skull. Oh, this would have been a cute screenshot, but I missed recharging. it. Crap. Take a look at what I found. I left it over there. Oh, sorry. I already <laughs> looked at it. Um, of course, that boy somewhere in three of the ambitions remain hidden within their vaults, and the one I had in my grasp has now returned to the mortal realm. At least he believes that all the other servants of Mayron Stagon are his mortal enemies. When the time is right, I will lure him back, or perhaps he will come find me. The prize shall yet be mine. What? All right. I'm ready. Follow me. No, 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 no. Follow we have to stop me. Zyna. Crap. Attack. I'm sorry. I have to eat. I have to eat. I can't go into battle with an empty stomach. Jesus. <laughs> gotta eat. Gotta eat. Gotta eat. Can I? She's oh my goodness. To the twins. I have to do this about my UI just in case. You never know when a cool screen is gonna. I'll help Callie on death row. Come on, you deal with Dinah. No Are you gonna do this? Will reward me for securing the twins. I think she is. The ambitions belong to Lord Dagon. Their power is for him yeah, alone. Yeah, she's gonna. will reward me for destroying you. I don't think he will. I think it'd be more pissed. You truly understood the nature of the ambitions. They're really cool. I will not fail, my lord and prince. I doubt any of that Sina. was like a decent screen. But... She was going to sacrifice us to Mayroon's Dagon. Sombrin, how could you bring us to this... this monster? She wasn't like this. I, I didn't know. Destron, help me open a portal. Like Sombrin showed us on the hilltop. Sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> There's something wonderful about wandering a city's streets with no destination. Zyna, she never gave me any indication that she was going to betray us. That she was involved in our creation and wanted to sacrifice us to Mayroon's Dagon. At least the twins don't appear to be in imminent danger of exploding. He was like in love with her or something. Uh, do you think it's true that you were created to transform the power uh, Dagon placed inside you? Let me take another look at Zyna's contracts. Yes, it's here. Zyna used a holy book to show Von Dacia how to create the four ambitions. Could it have been the Mysterium Xarxis? She was always loyal to Dagon. She never wanted to help us at all. Oh, okay. Uh, I wonder where the, four ambition, the fourth ambition is. So far, we only know of three of you. Hopefully. They're either still locked in a vault or wandering free like I was. I hate to think that Vondasia captured them while we were busy elsewhere. I'm... I'm not sure what we should do next, my friend. It's beginning to seem hopeless. I will find a way to defeat, defeat Vondasia and save the ambitions, all of you. I hope you're right. But I can't see a way ahead from here. If all else fails, we'll destroy ourselves before we let Dagon win. We're the keys to unlock the barriers between here and the Deadlands. We can't allow ourselves to fall into his hands. Uh, take the twins back to the temple while I talk to Keshu. We'll come up with something. Kali and Destron. They have no reason to trust me. Not anymore. But I'll still protect them. And somehow, I'll find a way to earn their trust again. <laughs> Can you keep them from destroying themselves? Whatever Zyna did to prepare them to be sacrificed, it seems to have dampened their power. How long that will last, I have no idea. But until their power builds to uncontrollable levels again, 
They should be able to use it to help us. Okay. I'll try to. I'm right, sorry. let's go and I speak no to Kelsey. meant to betray us. She wanted to kill us, Sombre. An apology isn't going to cut it. Destron, Zyna betrayed Sombrin too. Because he was stupid enough to trust her. I won't make this right. I promise. Let's return to the temple. We shouldn't be discussing this in the street. Yeah, no, you shouldn't. And you were so loud, I could hear you from over here. How rude. Okay, yeah, let's go speak to Kashi. And Evelie's gonna have, like, her family there, having a family dinner or something, right? Gideon, you return at a grim moment, mercenary. While you were gone, word reached us that the Waking Flame is gathering an army. I fear it will soon march on Gideon. But Evelie said you took the ambitions to learn about their powers. Did you succeed? <laughs> sort of. Uh, we know more about the ambitions, but we're still in danger. Oh. We are all in danger. At least you kept the ambitions safe. I thank you for that. Concerning the cult, Evelie and I have made plans. But first, I want you to have this. Compensation for the work you have done up to this point on Blackwood's behalf. Thank you. So we've got a, another collector. I freaking hate helmet collector things. I think it's just the same as what hers is. Yeah, it looks, in my opinion, kind of freaking ugly and I don't like it. <laughs> just kidding. I like hardly ever use the helmets. I think I've got a couple of hats that I use sometimes and like when there's an event and stuff going on. This Cadwell one I've got on my healer. This one I use around Christmas time. This one is nice as well sometimes. So is this one. Um, when the, her, her hair's like down, it looks better. Um, some of them I use, but like these ones, and like this one, I don't really care for, this one I don't care. This one, I feel really uncomfortable wearing because it's like I'm wearing a little jellyfish friend, so no thank you very, very much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the helmet, so that's just kind of like an F for me. But anyway, we have done another quest uh, for the main story. We literally only have two quests left for the main story. Um... So we have the ambition one, which is next, and then we have Heroes of Blackwood. I really, 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 really want to see Mayron's Dagon a lot more and a lot better, rather than just seeing a little snippet of him um, through like a crack in a wall. He just looks so freaking badass, and I really hope that these next two missions really like bring him up and stuff uh so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this episode the series so far hope you're enjoying it leave comments down below don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i will see you all in the next video take care bye